Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why, hello there, everybody. Mm-hmm. We made it to a Wednesday. We're about halfway there to Friday. And hopefully you have a weekend. But when I saw this tweet, my impression, my thoughts was I just got slapped into the face. That's right. It is this tweet right here from Raggedy Ann Jensaki. My response, and I actually quote tweeted it, said this is a slap in the face to anyone that is currently serving or has served. Pisaki says Biden didn't have the time last night to mention our 13 service members killed in Afghanistan. This is only nine seconds, so bear with me. I have not actually heard this. I just heard, just read the tweet. So look, a speech like the State of the Union, it's hugely important. It doesn't touch on, it doesn't have the time to touch on everything that is a priority. A speech as important as the State of the Union doesn't have enough time to highlight everything of importance. Well, you know, it it only takes a few seconds to say, I'd like to take this time to thank the 13 service members that sacrificed their life as we left Afghanistan. Take the moment to recognize them. You don't even have to list their names. All you got to do is just mention the 13 service members. And this is a slap in the face. He's the commander in chief. Can you imagine if Trump said, oh, I didn't have the time to recognize the people that died under my watch. The left will be eating this up, and rightfully so. But yeah, this is just a slap in the face with, with what's going on. And more likely, the United States will be in war either by the end of this year or next year with Russia because that's the direction that it's going with. It seems like everybody on the Capitol Hill that's a war hawk it has a big heart on to go attack Russia, our enemy of the long time enemy. That's right, ever since the USSR was formed, they were our enemy, even though we fought to help them to defeat the Germans in World War II. They're now our enemy. Always been our enemy, the Red Square during McCarthyism. I don't think Russia really wanted us to be enemies. I think Russia had every intention to peacefully work with us, but yet Joe Biden is going to get us into a war with Russia and they don't have the time, don't have the time to briefly mention the 13 service members that gave their ultimate sacrifice so we could leave Afghanistan on Biden's time schedule. Not the world's time schedule, Biden's time schedule. I'm sorry, this is just a slap in the face. Just a slap in the face, and it pisses me. I normally don't curse, but this pisses me the fuck off. That's right, I said. This pisses me the fuck off. They didn't have the time. Man, I feel sorry for the people currently serving. As a war veteran of a Fort Hood soldier with the 1st Cavalry Division, I served my time in Iraq. We were the group that went over to Iraq to replace the initial attackers or the the initial invasion team. And if I were to lose my life right now, Biden, Biden won't have the time to recognize me. That's got to be a thick slap in the fucking face. And then when I go off calling Russia, yeah, the, 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 there's a push for war crimes against Russia. What about United States war crime? What about Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, Syria, and a few other places? I forget what the other seven countries that we bombed. Hell, we even bombed Somalia a couple of weeks ago. Not a peep in the news, but they want to go after Russia for war crimes. At least they could do is make the time. That's right. Make 
the time for the service members that are going to be dying in your war. That's right, dying in your wars. Mm. Fucking hate governments. I've been saying this a lot on Twitter. Maybe not a whole lot, but it's a theme I've been, been going on for the last couple couple of days with Ukraine is when the governments fight it's the people that suffer and the least you could do is acknowledge their sacrifices but yet you're willing but yet Nancy Pelosi is willing to the acknowledge of a thug named George Floyd saying we honor your sacrifice mm, denture wearing vodka drunk ass bitch recognizing a career criminal resisting arrest and I'm not saying the officer did there was good the optics were terrible but this was a career criminal and you want to sacrifice acknowledge his sacrifice but the president can't even mention 13 service members killed in Afghanistan so you so we could leave Afghanistan on Joe Biden's time schedule Yeah, that's how I pretty much feel about that little raggedy end moment. It could have been just a fact that she could have just left it alone. I don't know if she was asked this question. If she wasn't asked this question, that's shame on this administration for even bringing that up. With that being said, leave a comment down below. What are your thoughts? I'm, I'm really kind of, I really want to know what everybody's thoughts about this. Smash the like and subscribe button on all platforms if you're pissed off at Joe Biden and Raggy Ann saying there wasn't enough time. Go ahead and smash the like and subscribe button on any and all platforms or just the platform that you're currently watching. With that being said, I'm going to honor the 13 service members right here. I don't know their names. I should have pulled it up. But I want to... I want to think... All my brothers and sisters in uniform, they have sacrificed so much. Their blood, their tears, their hard work. Their hard work. And for the ones that ultimately sacrifice the ultimate thing that they can sacrifice, thank you, my brothers and sisters. Regardless if you're Air Force, Navy, Army, Marine, National Guard, or even if you're in the National Guard or the Air Guard, I thank each one of my brothers in uniforms that have sacrificed for this country. And have yourself a wonderful day, morning or evening.